Hi everyone, as promised, um, this is now dry. Um, all the colors look actually pretty good. Um, the thing I didn't show you in the last video is I went ahead and mixed uh, the inks with a three-part ink, no, excuse me, three-part fabric medium to six-part ink for each one of the various different blends and then painted it on here. Now, I'm gonna zoom in here just a bit. If you look at this, there is still a bit of bleeding in each one, but I have to say it's minimal and this might end up being the best option for using inks. Um, oh, and by the way, I also went ahead and put in ink tense pencil and fabric medium. We have the Sukuniko up here, and then of course the two just plain um, markers. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this now. Okay, so what I've got going on here is warm water and Dawn liquid detergent. And I'm giving it a good scrub, as you can see. Um, let's just pull it out briefly and, and look at this. Well, actually just put it right here in the water and look. Um, I gotta say, so far so good um, for all of them. I, I don't see any degradation of the color. Um, obviously, you know, I'm rubbing it. Uh, none of the color is coming out. That's the ink tints. There are uh, the, now let's look here. No, not even that. That was originally, um, I put the fabric medium on both sides. That's a tiny bit of bleeding from yesterday when I put the fabric medium on. Now, do I see some bleeding potentially going on there? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, um, I think the Pantene, Pantone rather, is, well, maybe not. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm doing this live. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as, as faithful to showing you everything. Um, nothing, you know, altered. This is really how I test everything when I try a new product. And I have to say, um, between the fact of the straight, by the way, my cat Ditsy is, is checking everything out, so you'll have to forgive me for the, for the, for the cat in the picture. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, I gotta say, I'm very happy. Um, I'm gonna continue doing this. Um, so, the next part of the video will be um, drying it and then ironing it again and seeing, comparing, you know, the first to the, uh, the un unwashed to the washed. But I gotta say, frankly, um, I'm quite pleased and surprised. I think the problem here is always going to be the bleeding that occurs, but as you can see below, the mixture with the fabric medium, and oh, let me comment on the texture. Um, <clears throat> when I very first did this and it was dry, the various different straight inks were quite stiff. Um, now that I've washed them, they all feel basically the same and there's no stiffness whatsoever. You know, this is the other reason I wanted to try the inks because many people use acrylic paints and acrylic paint to me does and can leave a bit of a stiffness <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> in the fabric but inks tend not to they they saturate the fibers of the cotton without leaving any particular stiffness so uh again my apologies for a untrimmed or unedited video but I did really want to, to show everybody the whole process so that you too can try this out if you'd like. So stay tuned for the drying and ironing and the conclusion. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone. Okay, out of the dryer, not even ironed, and some observations right off the bat. Um, Pantene marker ink, the Pantene marker itself, Absolutely, the only way I would use it is if I was using it with fabric medium. So I wasn't really happy, particularly with the bleeding. 
yeah, maybe there's not as much bleeding down here, but you can still see there is some. Um, I, I, I'm probably of the opinion of throwing uh, the Pantone out of the running. Um, looking at the Edding 400 marker, it too faded with a wash and subsequent drying. This is it with the fabric medium and it stayed, but let me point out again uh, that the bleeding that we saw, um, and then there's bleeding here. I don't know if you can tell. I think it's easier to look at it on the back. Let me flip this over. Uh, yeah, you can see there's there's bleeding when I put the fabric medium on it. So as much as I wanted those to work, I actually have to say I'm I'm probably kicking those out as well. Now the last two, the Daler Roni, Dollar Roni, however you want to pronounce it, FW Acrylic Ink, um, actually works great on its own. The one thing I want to point out is that when you use it with fabric medium, it does lighten the tonality. Now you can adjust that. You could probably put more ink in with a fabric medium, and I'm actually quite pleased with how it worked with fabric medium. So I'm going to keep this in the running, but frankly, I think the clear winner here, um, is Dr. PH Martin's Bombay ink. Um, the original didn't hardly bleed at all. It did bleed some, it didn't work very well with directly on top of fabric medium, but mixed with fabric medium, it wasn't bad either. Um, tiny bit of bleeding. I think you could control that by how you apply it to the fabric first. For me, in working within stitch areas, if I start in the center and then work towards the stitching, I can usually keep the bleeding at an absolute minimum. And of course, if we look up here at Sukuniko ink, I mean, as good as it went in um, and came out, that's Sukuniko ink. Same thing with the ink tense pencils. Obviously, those two will continue to remain in my toolbox, but I'm going to have to seriously think about adding these two as I go forward. Um, although, frankly, you know, with Dynaflow, with some of the Jacquard fabric paints, with Pro Chemical and Dyes fabric paints, I, I think this just then becomes a personal preference as to what you want to work with, but as always, this now answers some of the questions that students give me, and that's what I'm here to do. Um, even if I never use these products again, at least there's a reference tool that you can go look at, review, and decide for yourself whether you want to use these products in your own fabric art. As always, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, you know, as the routine goes, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will continue to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. Thanks for watching.